Okay. Latifa Abu, uh, Abu Chakra Ealing. President, conference, my name is Latifa Abu Chakra. I'm a first time delegate and a first time speaker. Thank you. I am representing the Ealing Division in London and I begin my address in the name of the Most High. Assalamu alaikum. When certain politicians and the media use the term muscular liberalism, that's just another word for racism and Islamophobia. This stance on Islam has led them into primary schools to ascertain why young girls wear the hijab, as it could be interpreted as a sexualization of these young girls. I say shame on Ofsted for victimizing young girls, for choosing to wear religious articles of clothing. There is no such measure made for other religions or other articles of religious wear. This stance has other ramifications. It signals to the British public and emboldens groups such as EDL, BMP and other fascist and racist, uh, racist groups that women are oppressed by Islam, are made insubordinate to the men that supposedly forced them to wear it and that it is, it is the job of the British state to liberate us. We reject this imperialistic saviour thinking. And I am here to state for all people who choose to practice their beliefs openly that we are not oppressed by our faith. Islam is not one homogenous block. There are Muslim women who do not wear the hijab and that is their interpretation of their faith. The Quran beautifully states, La ikraha fid deen, which translates to there is no compulsion in religion. My faith has given me the right to choose 1,400 years before the Universal Declaration of Human Rights told me I could. <laughs> A fun fact for you, conference. My dad didn't want me to wear the hijab. <laughs> I chose to. Those of faith, thank you. Those of faith should have the right to choose to wear their articles of faith. Sikhs wearing the turban, Jews wearing the kippah, or Christians wearing the crucifix. Practicing my right to freedom of expression through the hijab empowers me and other women like me to know that we are able to make decisions for ourselves. Through the hijab, women like me feel empowered to overcome the social expectations of sexualization that is relevant and has currently resulted in many cases of anxiety and worse. I can speak for myself and others like me. At school, I was able to focus more on the thoughts that were running through my mind than how good I looked to the world. The NUT has supported a woman's right to choose when it comes to pregnancy. I want conference to support my right to wear the hijab. How I choose to practice my faith is clearly displayed for all to see. This makes me the target of hate crime. The level of racist attacks on Muslim women is disproportionate to any other oppressed group in British society because we are an easy target. This decision by Ofsted has ramifications beyond the school gates and must be seen in the context of increased attacks on the Muslim community and perpetuates the outdated notion that Muslim women are victims. I was on a trip last year to Hampton Court with my year sevens where a man felt comfortable to call me a terrorist. As a Muslim woman, I'm not a victim, so I challenged him. He denied it. I'm sure you've heard of the Punish a Muslim Day. It's been spoken about a few times already this morning. And as a Muslim, I'm actually quite optimistic. They're trying to limit it to one day. That's 364 <laughs> less than normal. <laughs> but let's be clear, conference. Islamophobia and other forms of racism affects non-Muslims too. If we don't challenge this stance as a collective, we may turn into, into a society like France, where women are forced by the law to choose between their faith and their education, their faith and their right to work in the public sector, their faith and their right to enjoy a day out by the seaside with their families. I want to end by stating that I came to this country as an eight-year-old refugee. We are Palestinians, forced out of our land in 1948. We lived in third world conditions, similar to those in Calais for 60 years. Here, I received the support I needed to study law at university and become a secondary school citizenship and PSHE teacher thank and you. a school rep. An injury to one is an injury to all, and I want to thank the union for its stance on all oppressed groups, in particular mine, Palestine. Thank, thank you. you, Thank you, Latifa.